Hi, I'm Dylan and I made StoryPop. Did you know that you can use your own custom images in StoryPop? It's easy and I'll show you how. Cyber High Five. The custom template is found under StoryPop and under the custom theme. So drag that onto your clip and let's take a look at some of the controls. Go to the inspector. Let's focus on this area first, on custom. This is where you put your picture in, your custom image, and make some changes. So, let's go ahead and add a custom image. You click on the well, the image well. Then, you find the image that you want to use. Click it, and then press apply clip. Sometimes your image might be bigger than the drop zone is. So, you want to use the zoom to zoom it down and get it to fit within the drop zone. And from there, you can scale up the drop zone if you want to make it bigger. You can also move it around within your drop zone, like so, using the pan controls. And you can also adjust the opacity if you need to of the drop zone. If you look at the canvas, you'll see several on-screen controls, numbered on-screen controls, and these represent the path shape that the hand will follow as well as the mask. And so you'll use these to, you'll move these around to draw to make your drawing. So as you can see I'm moving them to fit this drawing. So I'm gonna also make this a little bit wider. So if you go down to the mask section, section you'll see mask width. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go about 250. So your mask can be wider if you want, if you have a big object, or it can be smaller and thin if you just have a small, easy drawing. So, first thing we'll do is outline this picture. All right, now that our guy is outlined, our custom drawing, now we can take a look at it and see how it looks drawing. Looks pretty good looks pretty good. Once you're ready to export, be sure to turn off this numbers so that you don't have the numbers export with it. If you turn that off, you'll be okay. A couple other controls I want to show you is the hand time offset. You can offset the hand of the on the path by using this. If you want it to go forward in time a little bit, you can do that. So sometimes you might need it to draw ahead of time. That doesn't work in this case. But you can adjust the timing of the hand a little bit. And you can also adjust the timing of the mask using these controls here. Start and end time. Start time, If for more information on that, just click down on the mask here. See that little light bulb? That tells you there are some tips here. But basically, start time is going to delay the animation of the mask, and it's going to be relative to the first frame. And so, if so, this is saying it's going to start. The mask is going to start five frames after the beginning of the clip. So it's saying one, two, three, four, five. This is when the mask is going to start animating. It says, and you can delay it even further by increasing this value or you can have it start right at the beginning by putting it to zero. You can also go negative with that as well. End time is similar to the start time, but it starts from the end of the clip. So from the end of the clip here, I have it set at 81, so the mask is going to, the mask is going to finish animating at 81 frames from the end. So you can make that mask happen even faster by crunching this down. Or excuse me, by crunching that down, you slow the mask, so the mask draws even more slowly. So what it's saying is, mask stop drawing at 50 frames from the end of the clip. So if you want to speed it up, just increase the number there, and it will make the mask end faster. going to go ahead and reset those back to what they were before. 
And let's check it out one more time. Pretty good drawing. You can use this to create any custom drawings you want. You can put uh, color pictures in there, transparent pictures, you can put videos in there, you can put all sorts of medium in there. If you have any questions, let me know.